Mm. Hey guys, um, I've tried to film this intro several times now, if I'm being very honest. And this time I've just said, I'm not going to stop and start again. I'm just, I'm just going to say it without panicking about whether I'm saying the right thing, which is what's been happening. Um, I thought this video needed an intro so that it's not, it's not confusing why I'm so bubbly or normal. Majority of what you're about to watch, I filmed it last week. Well, like last week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so last weekend. And then of course the terrorist attacks, the attack happened on Tuesday and my world has completely shifted. And I'm just, you know, a Kenyan who, who, I, I don't, I, luckily I don't know anyone who was injured or who lost their lives. So I can't even imagine what it's like if you're watching this and you know someone who was in there and didn't make it or got injured. I am so, so, so sorry. But I just wanted to start this video off by saying that my heart is with you. My prayers are with you and your family and with the country, with everyone. Because I think, you know, whether or not you were there or you know someone who was there, I think it's still a very traumatic thing and event. And it all made sense actually when I watched um, Dr. Karen's video, which you should if you hadn't. Now, another thing I, I, I saw in the video that made, that convinced me that maybe I, maybe, maybe I should put this video up this Friday. One of the tips to try and overcome that trauma or traumatic event is to go back into routine. And this is one of my routines that I'm trying to set up for 2019. And so I hope that this video brings you uh, some kind of relief or it just distracts you for a few minutes, maybe 20, I don't know how long it's gonna be. Um, and I don't know, it just, it just offers you something different than, than I guess what's going on here and here. And it's not to take away from what just happened and to be like, all right guys, let's snap back out of it. Let's just move on with our lives. It's nothing like that. I guess it's just my way of getting back into, um, into the swing of things. Um, yeah, oh man. This video we're talking about hair and I'm sharing with you my experience with my hair so far. Uh, and I also ask a few of the people um, a few of the people in my circle, just a few friends, what their experience with their hair has been like. I didn't manage to ask as many people as I'd have liked because things just didn't work out. The, the week didn't, you know, things didn't work out. Um, but I did get to ask three of my friends. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Okay, now cue the part of the video that I originally thought this would start off as. God, this is a long intro, but here you go guys. Oh wow, the fro is here. Hey guys, um, happy, what day is, uh, happy Friday, because this you're watching this on a Friday. For me, it's also a Friday, but it's the Friday before you are watching this. Um, it is 9.29 a.m. I've just finished doing my makeup. Oh my God, I just forgot my first, my vlog must be up. Is it up? It's up! <laughs> okay, this vlog, I want to talk a little bit more about my hair. I've just wet it, so I'm gonna come in close. Hopefully you get to see it better. It has some curls because I'd curled it before, like the twist outs and stuff. Um, but for now, I want to gel it down like sleek back. Uh, the way, Annabelle Onyango used to do it. I don't know if she still does it. No, she's cut her hair shorter. I have no idea how to do it. That's where we should probably start there. But I have an idea. I've got Eco Styler Gel. This one is Argan Oil version. And I've got this brush. And I've also got this brush. And I've also got this brush. So we're gonna figure out which one of these work. Oh, you know what I definitely need? Uh, Kitamba, which I've got. Right here. Should I start with product? Yeah, okay, I'll just put like a little bit of avocado oil. I reckon if I'm doing the wrong thing, you guys will tell me. Wish me luck.
Um, Damn! My arm's out. My arms are tired. Um, so I'm gonna show you the back. And you tell me how that looks, because I, you know, I don't know. But. I mean, I still think I need to sleek it down more. But we're getting there. And I have these cool pins that I got from ShopRite at Westgate. Uh. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. It still feels like wet. I think... I think I sleeked my hair down with way too much gel. But here we go. Oh my god! It's worked out! I mean, you really now see the shape of my head, but um, here, take a look. Here it is. Oh, the back is funny because of where the headscarf was. Shoot. Damn it! What do I do about the bag? Do I just... Okay, I have to go now. I have a shoot with Tatiana, which I'll bring you along to. Okay, so I'm now at CJ's at, um... Well, my glasses look very dirty. Sort of. Hi! Thank you. I'll order in just a minute. Thank you. Um, anyway, I, uh... <laughs> I got into the car and thank God I was with someone. My nails are just getting worse but thank god I was with someone because she was like um uh, so apo nyuma apo nyuma tapanya ni and I was like oh shit so I just like added more gel brushed it down and I think it's a little bit better and it just made me think maybe when I turned and you guys saw it you were all like oh god oh no no please don't walk out of the house like that because that's just uh a little embarrassing. Can I vlog this? My glasses are so cute. My glasses. It's like half the outfit is my glasses. They're from Top Box. Hi. Can I hold her now? Yes. I don't have a cold. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Tat. Oh my god. You're here with my little punch game. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Chubby is That's covered your little head. Have you never come to see Jay? Yeah, it's cute, huh? Say hi to my oh. dog. Hi guys. Hi, how are you? I've never seen our chubby and cushy I know she's so chubby. I didn't even know how we got there. What is your secret? What me? What I don't know what's in my milk this time. Okay. It's like I'm having skin to skin with the baby that's not mine. Come lie on my bosom. I might even breastfeed her at this rate. Look at her. Hi. Look at her Good little morning. chubby rolls. Chubby, 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 chubby. You want to see her face? Um, I'm with baby. And I'm just about to breastfeed this baby. How weird would that be if I just like started breastfeeding her? What would you do? Honestly, I've thought about that. Me breastfeeding her. Not you, oh. just somebody I know. And, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Hi. Apparently in Maasai communities and stuff they do it. Uh, oh, I didn't even know that. Like they help each other out while somebody's I didn't know that, but, or whatever but what I did learn is that um, so if, if I didn't have milk, and I think we talked about it when we were both pregnant. If I didn't have milk, did we talk? I don't know if we did. If I didn't have milk, um, but you did, would I let you breastfeed my child? Honestly, because at the same time, are you giving her the nutrients? If she needs that stuff, then why, why not? Like, I wonder but if I'd be okay. Yeah, but like, yeah, <laughs> like, don't take that moment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, baby. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? So this is She's... going to be me, I told you. Yeah. I need you to say it for the camera, which is completely skewed, but tell, uh, say for the camera what you just said. I love your hair. Like, it, it's so nice. And it's like... But tell me about the back. Because that... No, I it looks so good. Yeah, How did, I had what gel a, did you use? Oh, Eco Styler um our argan oil but then i had an issue with the back like there was a weird because of how i, I put the head scar oh. it ended here and so everything was flat and then this part was just like normal no it looks nice hair oh, oh man yay so actually so this vlog i want to talk a little bit about hair and i want to know from you 
what's it been like for you to have natural hair? Because you went natural like oh, when yeah. you're pregnant, Two years right? Ago, yeah. Yeah. When you're pregnant with all it. Oh man, you know what? It's been so hard. Oh, but really? not yeah, not it's actually very easy in a sense that I can wake up and just do my hair you know yeah. like I literally just tie it with a rope yeah that's easy but the hard part is like when I need to comb it and like also doing other Can I styles touch it? yeah um, also just doing other styles it and stuff soft. it's too it's just hard oh, I just really? can't do anything with it I miss my straight hair where I can be like okay one up one down so how come you haven't relaxed it again because I also love natural hair and I think it's and I want them to grow up being like, oh, I want curly, nice hair. Yeah. Natural hair. Yeah. 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 I don't want them to be like, I need to straighten it because everybody has straight hair. Straight hair. I know it's like a, a weird space, but interesting. Yeah. interesting. But yeah, and then also YouTube videos, that's a lie. What are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. And no one has three hours every morning to spend on their hair. It's actually a lie. I didn't have that before I had babies and I don't have it now. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You don't have three hours to be like fixing yeah. up the hair style. Um, and you have two babies too, so yeah, really, never you, can't, you don't have the luxury of like, I have an hour to just figure Do out my hair. Yeah. That's literally when Olive is in school, and then she's got like, that's when I have time yeah. to do my hair. Oh, okay. Well, that's Tats' experience. <laughs> hey, we just took some really cool shots, um, and then I only just realized that I had like that white deodorant stain in <laughs> my armpit, and then I tried to use tissue to like wipe it off, and now my armpit is this color. <laughs> Great stuff, Sharon. I'm back at my house now, and uh, uh, I think I'm just gonna take the afternoon off and just relax. But before that, before we end the vlog, let's talk about natural hair for just a little bit. My experience with my natural hair has been pretty good. I just have to look for quick and easy ways to do something with the hair when I want to rush out of the house in the morning. So whether that is uh, getting a hat, buying a wig, knowing how to do a head wrap really nicely, I just need to learn those tips and tricks. But I like it. I feel very powerful. Is that, yeah, I just, short hair makes me feel powerful. That being said, I can't wait for my hair to really grow. Um, but I'm learning to just enjoy every stage of my hair and that's actually one of my uh, goals for this year to not put so much pressure to be like oh it should be long it's just to, to just enjoy every stage <laughs> what are those dance moves? Monty's in the building. Uh, again. 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 Monty is always everything. in the building. So yeah. if I'm going to be doing vlogs more regularly, you're going to have to just get used to this little gem. Um, so I wanted to speak to Monty about her, <laughs> her hair. Because Monty was one of the first people who, when you went natural, is mm. when it really hit me like, oh wow. Like, yeah. wow, it's a. Uh, it's possible. It's it's happening. It's and possible, it's and yeah, and it's it's really, it's not just a few people who are talking about it. It's now even the people around me are yeah are doing this. We're gonna have to move back. Let's do this. Okay, I want to learn from Mondi why, after how many years? Four. Four years of being natural, she decided to relax her hair, ah. and it started. First of all, let me even tell you how I started. She just went like, "Hun, I think I'm gonna relax my hair next week. And then three hours later, she sends me a picture of her in her relaxed hair like, Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, So why did you, why I did just, you do it? I, to be honest, mm -hmm. like the main reason I relaxed my hair was because I was tired of taking care of my natural hair. Mm. Um, I wouldn't even say taking care because I'm the most I was the most lazy naturalista ever like I just never used to pay attention to my hair I mean I was a person who would do a twist out on Monday and hold it in that twist. like I'd always just wake up pour some water 
slick it down and I'd wear that twist out. I could wear it for one and a half weeks without touching the hair. So by the time I'd undo it and try and unravel the twist or even just like wash it, my hair would be so tangled. I would lose so much hair mm. and I was like, this is just not a sustainable way of living. Um, and also just going about my hair care. Also, another thing with me is that my I do when I when I would braid my hair, I'd itch so much. Like oh, I, yeah. I was the type yeah, of person yeah. who would like itch yeah. on the first day of braiding. And I know a lot of people would tell me stuff like you should just wash the soak braids it, or I soak them what, in yeah. ACV and I just or uh, apple cider vinegar. Hey, and ACV. <laughs> hey. Even even in my head, I was like, I think it's a chemical. <laughs> no, it's I guess it's a chemical, but I'm yes to an apple cider and vinegar. And I would just be like, that's. Too much work. Yeah, because I'm so lazy. Yeah, and so, also you, she really does have sensitive skin. Yeah, so I do. Like yeah. I have eczema, so yeah. um, it just I was just like I can't do the braiding thing. I'm not about the wig life. Mm. Um, not because I'm against it. I just it's for another me, it's form of heat. Itch, like itch, that's of that's like itching. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's for yeah. sure. Like that would even just the thought of having like something on my head that's yeah. not a foreign. Um, you're just not texture yeah. for sure. I just knew like that's just not gonna fly okay. with me. So protective so styles, protective were, not styles were not gonna work for yeah. me. So I ended up having my hair open mm -hmm. most of the time. Whereas with natural hair, you'll find that a lot of people who are able to like maintain length and yeah. um, even or just have hair. a healthy yeah. body of yeah. hair are, um, are able to do it because they're able to protect their hair. So they yeah. put it in the braids. They put they put on a wig. Yeah. Um, and just even less touching just and all that less fiddling, manipulation yeah. exactly yeah. and so i wasn't able to do that just because i'm lazy no other reason um and i also just didn't have the energy to go and sit in a salon for yeah. them to do a twist out then i know i can do myself yeah or, okay you know so do like, you have so any regrets absolutely not <laughs> guys i went so first actually what like, i should, what I should mention for relaxing is your hair. first i texturized mm. my hair in april I think. oh yeah i first texturized yeah. my hair and i remember even telling shine about it and i was so excited yeah. and i did it and it was more manageable definitely more manageable but then i i hadn't re-texturized it or rather retouched yeah. it um for a long time like six months and so the growth was just like getting to me and so I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do the texture thing either yeah. because it means that it's. I still could not just wash and go. Yeah. Like I just couldn't just get out of the shower and just like I would look crazy. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna go the whole way, and I did it, and I love it. And you know what? I, the thing about hair is, I've just realized me as Monday, I'm not a, I'm not attached to my hair at all. Since the first mm. time I cut it, I'm no longer attached to this hair. I literally could next week go and cut it, and I'll right. be okay. So I think when I wow. when I yeah. when I made peace with that, yeah. I stopped thinking about hair as also this thing that is such a huge part of who I am. Yeah. I just or rather like a I, huge part identity. of my beauty of and I, beauty. identity I am so living I, that I stopped right now. feeling yeah. like if I if I if I if I cut it next week how, what are people going to think yeah. or how am I even going to no I don't care I could like so today you might see me with relaxed hair tomorrow I might be natural I might be telling you I'm transitioning right yeah and, and that's just the way if you think of hair like that like it grows back anyway yeah. or it's just it's not a permanent thing so for you a lot so I haven't even really gotten into yeah. my journey yet yeah. but I'm, and we haven't really discussed yeah. it in depth like I never asked you what yeah. does it mean for you yeah but a lot of what you said resonates with yeah. me and it's what I'm experiencing now it's but um that's it yeah. for Monty she's gotta go I gotta go um, but I'll see you soon she's see very you soon, soon. <laughs> bye guys also yeah. peak my <laughs> hair situation she just learned this I just style. learned this Ooh. Karen showed me <laughs> huh? hey uh -huh. Karen you just always look so huh? beautiful I don't even know <laughs> and then I come sitting next to her with Not no even. makeup and no. <laughs> So, hmm. she doesn't know what I'm about to ask her, but you guys already know what I'm about to ask her. What? I want to find out mm -hmm. about your hair journey. Mm -hmm. So this uh, vlog, I'm going to be talking about hair and what my experience has been like cutting mine. Um, and I just now want to ask people around me what their experience with their hair is like. And maybe for you, we could start with um, why did you choose to do dreadlocks? 
laziness. Okay. Wait, no, seriously. No, what was it? I have very curly, curly hair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think I got tired of being petted like a dog. Mm. Um, like, oh my gosh, because then people yeah. would, it would take forever to detangle it. Mm. So I used to use detangler in the shower, which mm. would take forever. And then it's, luckily it's a type that you do the wash and go thing, which yeah. is great. Yeah. But when I'm out there, I've left the curls. Mm. Leave my hair alone. Mm. Like, oh my gosh, is it real? So there'll be hands inside and then there'll be people ruffling it. So one day out of defiance, yeah. I decided I'm just going to do little twists. Then I left them in for a while and I was like, hmm, this is good. And then it worked with my head uh, and, my, and my five head right. as well. So <laughs> I know what that, <laughs> yeah, I know what that's about. It worked about. with my five head as well. So yeah. I said, okay, maybe I'll make this permanent. So where I was living at the time, there was this true Jamaican guy. Ah, uh, Jamaican. Had, yeah, Jamaican. Yeah. Yes, the whole, the whole salon was yeah. just Jamaicans with locks until their knees yeah. and stuff. So I just said, just go do it. When I walked in there, I had preconceived ideas of what I wanted. I wanted the thin, you know, like the thin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. locks. Mm -hmm. So I walked in and asked, and he said, don't come here with a preconceived notions. I was like, okay, hey. fine. He said, your hair gonna do what your hair gonna do. So I said, okay, fine, let me just watch and see what he does. What? And then he just did. I love that your hair is going to do what, what it's your gonna hair do. is going to do. Yeah. So don't go in with ideas of, oh, my hair is going to lock this way, wow. or I want my hair to look just like yours. Because mm. even sisters or twins will mm. not have the same your curl pattern. It, yeah wow and i think so, that's just even so profound like yeah. stop trying to manipulate yeah. your hair in all these weird things mm -hmm. even yeah. though it sometimes is fun and sometimes looks cute yeah. but that's a good that's mm -hmm. something interesting now let's talk about height because karen is for sure the person with the longest hair that i've ever met i think i actually the other day i saw this indian lady with hair so long mm. i was like it's longer than karen <laughs> What does that she even mean? <gasps> How? Who? What? It's on, lady. Yeah, it's on. No, but um, kidding. but your hair is like down. Like right now, if she let it down, you you she'd be sitting on it. It's yeah. it's if you've seen her hair, it's very long. I don't know if you have a picture. I it, I'll get a picture from you okay. and insert it here okay. so that people see how long. Okay. What, why did how did that come about? You know, it being long was that something you were going for and. How is how is now your experience with really long hair? Have the has the petting stopped? No, I know no, the answer to no, this. Yeah, no. I've I witnessed it myself. Yeah, <laughs> but she was like, I'm used to people just like. Oh. Yeah, you get used to it. In the supermarket, there's a guy who was behind me in line, mm. and first I feel this tug, then I turn and he's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize I was doing it. I just, <laughs> I just, I'm just, I'm so sorry. And he was so sorry that like, we just both what? burst out laughing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It okay. Could but have turned into some real yeah. black girl. Don't moment, even, don't touch my hair. Yeah, it was don't funny. Don't touch. Was funny. But wow. why did I grow it this mm -hmm, long? Was mm -hmm. just, I, I'm a serial cutter. Like mm -hmm. I love to just cut it. Mm -hmm. But at some point, okay, my hubby hit the scissors. Yeah. And oh. then said, okay, <laughs> this is time enough, enough. Let's see. Yeah. So once it started growing, I was like, oh, this is fun. Then it kept growing. I was like, oh, this is more fun. So, I've just. I don't know. I yeah, a good reason. It just. I'm just curious to see where it goes. Where it goes. And then I shave my head. Would you really? I think I would. That's so. I can't. At that's some so point, crazy. I would, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And um, in total, are you happy with your hair? Do you I like? Do, I do. Yeah. I, I'm so used to it. It's become me. Yeah. But I do want it to be. You know the whole I'm not my hair thing. Yeah. I don't want it to be the thing. So, I'll. See. Right. You don't want your hair to be. I don't like want my your, hair to be my. Your, your. Who I am. Who you are. Yes. Your identity is yeah. like based off of Karen with the long hair. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or Doctor Karen yeah. with the long hair. Or the locked uh, dog or something. No. The I, locked isn't that nice? dog. I know. I have always wanted to use that. You can't use it. I've used it. Okay. No. Yeah. I'm just what like we need to do a whole rebrand. That's. What I know. We, don't we? Need... Yeah. I thought of it. That's what we, like your Instagram. Yeah, but then I'd be locking myself into the hair. locked dog, and it yeah. is not and your identity. And then if I change it, then it becomes a thing. Then yeah, and it's like, but where are the locks? Interesting. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you for that. You're welcome. Um, yeah, and no, now that she's mentioned it, do go follow her on Instagram. I'll link it here so that people can see. Yes, me and, and know everything that you're seven doing. Photos. <laughs> five. Maybe they're five. <laughs> no, they're so, they're enough. Okay. They're enough for people true, to go and like. True. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh I've just oh. ruined my hair. Oh no! Damn it! You okay. know what? I'm just gonna take this up. Anyway, no, well, but it's working. Just tuck it in. Okay. Pen. Okay, Use okay we'll pen. figure it out. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for me to tell you why I cut my hair. First thing is that my hair was damaged. 
And there was a patch here that was shorter than the rest because of a lot of heat damage that I endured in the first um, like week or two of filming at uh, uh, Living With Us on the show. And then, you know, I cut my hair a little bit shorter, but I still didn't feel like it was the healthiest version that it could be. Second reason I cut my hair was because I, I'm, a, I'm a mom. And one of the things that I often have to, to, to stop and sort of ask myself is, how am I going to explain why I'm insisting on certain things? When I say, hey, I think, I think you should stay with natural hair, or I think you should not relax your hair till this, till you're at least this age, and if you do, you do it on your own. You know, how, how do I explain that when I myself don't remember the last time I had natural hair. I don't, I, how, how do I convince someone? Also, I, I'm about to turn 30, and this is also another big part of it. I'm turning 30 this year, March 10th, in less than two, oh shit, it's in less than two months. Oh my God. <laughs> um, I'm about to turn 30, and I'm not the kind of person who does anything interesting with their hair. I've never colored my hair. Uh, the shortest I ever cut it was, you know, what you guys saw uh, um, a while back when I had the short bob. Why not try and go natural? If I hate it, then, uh, you know. And who knows, I might just love it. Now, I actually have footage of the day, or from the day that I actually cut my hair. First of all, let me explain to you what that week was like. It was such a stressful week. Uh, we had been shooting nonstop. There was so much work. It was right up, right before I went to Morocco and I knew Morocco was gonna be a long trip. And then right after that, I had a day here and then I was flying out again with my family. And I didn't want to stress about what, what, what do I do with my hair? How do I, so, that Friday, I had just finished filming. I was going into the salon to just have my hair um, treated. Just a quick treatment, come out. I'd even told Helen about it. You guys know Helen, she's been with me for a long time when it comes to my hair. And I sit on her chair and I'm just like, cut it off, cut it off. It was the last day of filming, I was exhausted. I felt like it was my hair that was making me tired. <laughs> Anyway, so let me insert that clip. If I can find it, because I filmed it on my phone. Yes, I'm going to insert that clip here. being so relieved um, and so interested to get to know this different version of me this version that didn't rely on hair 
as a form of as some kind of armor. I needed to learn to love the version of me that didn't look like this other Sharon that I thought I knew and figured out and understood physically, you know, into, like this, and and to just be okay with this, and especially first thing in the morning, you know, without any makeup, without jewelry, uh, without these curls, which I think we're doing okay, without the curls and the curling butter, to just be okay with that side. My hair isn't uh, so far so good, like I don't feel like it's that difficult, but uh, Mondi did tell me the other day like, yeah, you're still in that like safe length, wait till it's like a little bit longer where you feel like you can hold it up but you can't hold it up, then you get very frustrated with your hair. I don't think I'll show you the products that I use, at least not in today's video because it wasn't about that, like this is what I use. Also, it's just been like a month and a half, so I, I really don't quite, I don't know a lot of the stuff that I really love versus what is okay and I'm just trying to figure out now. So I'll do that video a little bit later. But I'm curious to know, what's been your hair journey like? I, I want to know what your experience and your relationship with your hair has been like. Whether you have dreads, whether you've relaxed your hair, whether you have natural hair, short hair, long hair. If I do ever learn some interesting hairstyles. I guess I'll show you in the vlogs. You'll see it, I'm sure. Oh, you see me fail, like, come on. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. And again, I hope this video brought a smile to your face. And I wish you nothing but light and love and peace and strength. Bye.